big chance. And there it is. Beating defenders one on one with skill moves in EA Sports FC 25 is not only a great way to find space and score goals, but it also makes you look good on the pitch. As always, EA has dropped a few new skill moves into the game this year, and they're worth mastering. Let's dig into how to perform every new skill move in FC25 and give you a few old favorites that might make the difference in your champs games. First up is a two-star skill called Stop and Go. Most attacking players can do it because it's a relatively simple skill, making it a versatile tool to throw in your locker. It's most effective out on the wing where you can fake your opponent out by turning back like you're going for an easy pass, but then darting past them toward the goal. To perform the stop and go, you need to hold LT, L2, and then flick the right stick backward and then forward. Remember that for all of these skills, the stick direction is relative to the direction your player is facing. So if you're attacking to the left, you'll actually flick the stick right and then left. After performing the skill, you can also use the left stick to influence your exit angle, helping to give you extra space to get off a shot. The big feint is another two-star skill move, but doesn't seem as useful as the stop and go. At times, you can use it to back up your opponent and gain some space to pick out a pass, but this one doesn't feel essential. To perform the big feint, you need to hold LT, L2 and flick the right stick left and then right, or vice versa depending on the direction you want to feint. Now we move into 4 star skills, which means many players in FC25 won't be adept at performing these. The step over ball skill move lets you change directions with some pace, potentially opening up space for a finesse shot to the corner of the goal from the top of the box. It can be a little slow to perform, so don't expect it to change the game completely. But if you have a player with the finesse shot playstyle plus, you'll get some use out of this one. To perform the step over ball, you need to hold LB L1 and then flick the right stick forward and then left or right depending on the direction you want to go. Next up is a skill move that was hidden by EA but found by players who were calling it the running V drag. To perform this 4 star skill move, you need to hold down LT L2 and flick the right stick back and then to the right or left depending on which way you want to exit. The running V-drag is a quick way to change your angle and find space when your defender overcommits. Mixing in a skill cancel with the move, which is done by pressing LT L2 and RT R2 at the same time, can give your opponents fits, so you should definitely toss this one in your tool belt. Mbappe! We move into 5 star skills next, so make sure you're using someone with magic feet before you try these. The toe drag step over is a great skill to use in the box when you need space to get off a shot. It's a nice animation that can trick opponents because of all the fancy footwork happening. To perform the toe drag step over, you need to hold LB L1 and then do a 360 degree motion with the right stick, starting from the direction you're facing. So if you're attacking to the left, you need to start your 360 degree rotation from the left side of the right stick. There's another new skill that can only be done by players with the trickster playstyle, called the trickster fake shot. It's done the same as a normal fake shot, but this version gives you a quick ball roll animation that opens up space better than most skills. If you have a player with the trickster playstyle, you need to be using this skill. All you do to perform the trickster fake shot is press circle or B to load up a shot and then cancel with square or X. You can also cancel it with cross and A, so play with it until it feels natural. Like most skill moves, you can also use the left stick to change your exit angle after performing the skill, putting you in the perfect position to slide one into the back of the net. The final new skill move is the 180 Flare Nutmeg. This was in EAFC last year, but the developers have given it a new animation to spruce things up. To perform the 180 Flare Nutmeg, you need to hold LBL1 and RBR1 and then flick the right stick away from the direction you're facing, using a heel chop to turn the other way. Of course, it's not all about the new hotness. There are still several old skills that are very effective. For 5 star skillers, the ball roll scoop turn continues to be one of the most meta moves in FC25. This one takes some practice if you didn't master it last year. First, perform a ball roll by holding the right stick to the right or left of your player. Before getting to the next part, it's important to note that the ball roll is a great 2 star skill that you can use to stutter your opponent or find space for a shot. Once you've performed a ball roll, you need to press the left stick in the direction your player is facing and perform a fake shot by pressing circle B and then either square X or cross A. You need to be fast to pull it off, but it's very effective once you get it down. 
Another great two-star skill move that gives you a short speed boost is the step over. To perform this, you need to start the right stick in the direction you're facing and then do a quarter turn to either the left or right. You can use this all over the pitch, and it's very easy to perform. Finally, a 5-star skill that was used often in FC24 and remains a fan favorite in 25 is the Magidi Spin Cancel. For this one, you need to flick the right stick forward and then in the direction you want to spin. Immediately after, you need to press RTR2 and LTL2 at the same time to cancel the move. The Magidi Spin Cancel is an effective way to get past opponents, but the timing can be tricky, so be sure to spend some time practicing it if you want to add this to your repertoire. Once you've spent some time on the pitch, you'll be able to add all of these skill moves to your arsenal, giving you the tools you need to get around your opponent with flair and score goals in bunches. The new skill moves in EAFC 25 are worth mastering, especially the stop and go, step over ball, and toe drag step over. So get to practicing, and before you know it, you'll be putting opponents away while playing the beautiful game at its best.